I wanted to show everyone my current room <laughs> before, um, well, what it looks like right now. So I've got plans for everything. So that wall is going to be a bunch of art from artists. And this wall right here is going to be wallpaper from Spoonflower that I'm going to get. I'm going to have streamers coming down there, like a smiley face tapestry at the top and then up here i'm gonna have more of these i can't well yeah i'm gonna get more of these <laughs> and might put like some rainbow lights and i'll have like a garland going up there i'd have it going around the whole entire room but yes that is my current plans and in my closet is a whole other thing but i'm not gonna worry about that now uh, oh, oh, right, yeah, and I'm going to add, like, some squishy thing on the floor over here. But yeah, this is how my room is looking so far. I'm really excited. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm trying to film, like, a YouTube video for it, so yeah. I'm excited. Hello! Thank you so much to 100,000 of you for being here! Ah! <laughs> As promised, here is my rainbow room tour! The last time I did a room tour, we were still living in Texas, though that wasn't really a room. It was more like a crevice in a wall. But this time, I'm in an actual room that has actual doors. Hell yeah, to moving on up. But some disclaimers before I start today's tour. Number one, I have been collecting everything in this room for 27 years now. It is literally my life's entire collection. It's an accumulation of years and years and years of collecting. All of this did not happen overnight or even over a few months. People often see the over-the-top finished product, but they don't realize how much time and effort it took to reach that point. So please do not compare yourself to me. Don't ever feel bad and compare yourself or your room or your life to someone else's, especially like on social media where everyone is mostly sharing the good stuff that's happening in their life, their highlight reel. We all have different circumstances. We are all in our own little life journey. So we'll all take our own time to do our own things, especially if you are in high school or in middle school, even elementary school, you've got a very long way to go and a bright future to look forward to. Okay, number two, just like how all of this didn't happen overnight, I didn't get everything from just one place. There's not like a rainbow room store. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it would be cool if there was, but I don't think that there is. It's also going to be hard for me to remember where I got everything from since, like I said, it took like 27 years to create this. But basically, it's from all over. Like, I've shopped online, in person, some are gifts from Walmart, Target. Number three, I am by no means rich at all. We live in the most affordable apartment in our area. We're actually moving out soon because they raised our rent by a lot, which is another reason why I'm filming this tour today so that I can at least have some footage to keep for memories because I worked really hard on this room. I've never really had like a bedroom where I could go all out on because growing up, I always had to like share a room with my sisters or with my partner Edgar and the last room tour wasn't really even a room. I wanted to really go ham when we got this place. But speaking of Edgar, he has his own space. Our son Enzo, he also has his own room, which is Minecraft and FNAF themed. It's only my room that is rainbow. The rest of the apartment is not super colorful, but if I had the money, oh my gosh, I'd have an entire rainbow home with so many rainbow things, but maybe one day. So I don't know if we can in this economy, but we'll, we'll see. Number four, I get asked this a lot online for some reason. Does this room hurt my eyes? No, <laughs> I would not have this room if it hurt my eyes. Like I don't want to torture myself every single day. Instead of my eyes being hurt, it makes my eyes happy. I love surrounding myself with things that I love. I'm like one of those birds that sees shiny 
pretty things and I just like want to collect them in my nest. <laughs> and living in this room has really taught me the importance of having a space for you to just be yourself in, to feel safe in, to dream in. Like sometimes late at night, I'll be in my bed and I'll look up at my ceiling with all the flowers and all of the artwork that I've collected from all of these amazing artists and figures from the anime that I love and all the cute frog things that I have and the curvy things and all the rainbows and just everything. All the things that bring me happiness. And then I just feel so grateful that this is my reality. It's, it's wild. It honestly feels like I'm living in a dream whenever I look at my room and it's, yeah, it's just, ah, it's like a warm hug. Number five, is it easy to clean? No. <laughs> Number six, I'm gonna be honest, my room is not always this clean. I like try to keep it clean. I clean up before I film videos or TikToks or whatever. Like I'll try to dust and vacuum whenever I can, but it's really tough because I've always got so much going on in my life, lots of different chores and it's me and my three boys living in our small apartment, so. Yeah. So please, please keep these things in mind while you're watching this tour. After the tour, I will be sharing some advice on how to find things like what I have in my rainbow room so that you can also create your own colorful space. But already, let me welcome you to my rainbow room. Let us start with the door. So I have this thing hanging over it so that I can put some little plushies as well as to hang my bags. Ooh. Let me flip this over. <laughs> so yes, I have like my sling bag, shoulder bags, and I've also got this print that I love so much from Shop Solani. Some from the artist Mami Mog. My backpacks, my Hamtaro. This is Kawaii Bear, as well as like some necklaces that don't have space. I mean, that don't fit in my accessories cabinet that I'll show you in a little second. Also got some art. I think that's Sunon Bird. They're a Chinese artist. And for more artist things, wow! This whole entire wall is filled with just art, stickers, posters that I've collected from so, so many different artists over the years. So a lot of artists, they will sell prints of their work and so I buy it directly from them. Though I have this part over here that I got from the website called Inprint, I-N-P-R-N-T, where artists, they can sell their artwork on there and it's printed on really nice paper. And then I use washi tape as a border around the prints because they do have like a white border around them, which I'm not too fond of. So I used washi tape to make it look like a frame. It looks pretty cool. Over here, I have all of my phone charms and keychains, have it all in like rainbow order. Um, I don't know if some of you might remember the phone charms videos that I did. So this is how much it has grown since then. <laughs> but if you're curious on where I got them, I talk about it in the phone charms video. This spot right here has some plushies like my little frog shrine. These are various frog friends that I have collected and some are gifts from friends as well. And right here are my drawers. Drawers for all of my accessories. So like my bracelets, my candy and things. This has like my earrings. I really like these. I just got these as a gift from my friend Gulia. Thank you, Gulia. Also got this thing right here to hang some of my earrings. These are from 6% Doki Doki. They kindly sent these to me a while back. This one right here, this is actually a Kermit sleeping bag that I found at Goodwill, like the Goodwill bins where you pay by how heavy it is. And this was the only thing that I got. It was $2. When I got it, can you believe it? $2 for this thing. And it has inside a sleeping bag. This one I got from Target. It's like a bubble making machine. It's pretty cool. And I have my various belts and belt chains hanging here. Got some bags over here. This one is by Good Banana. They have a lot of really cute rainbow things. They sent me a whole package of just like rainbow things. like. 
that thing right over there, the rainbow thing, <laughs> that was also from Good Banana. And this is just like a gummy bear. This is the very last thing that I purchased from Poshmark. It's a secondhand Betsy Johnson bag. Oh, here's another good banana thing. This for if you're like on your bed or sofa and you need to use your laptop, you can use that as like a desk on your lap. This thing right over here has all of my makeup in it. Some figures that I have on top, and Miku. The Ava Gorleys, my fake Hello Kitty phone, and a froggy friend with the 6%. Oh, oh no! 6% Doki Doki Kawaii Monster Cafe bow and tiny hat. This box just has like a bunch of like random miscellaneous things. This bag right here is where I keep all of like my electronic stuff for filming and whatnot. There's yeah, little bits and bobs. The floor that we have is just like hardwood floor. I wanted to make it, make the room really colorful. So I got these like foam mats and it feels nice to walk on though. I had to get this clear thing right here for the foam mat because my chair was sort of digging into the foam mat. If you do end up getting this sort of thing, and you have like a pretty heavy chair. This is like a, this is a gaming chair. And I mainly got it cause it's purple. Um, I don't even remember what brand is. Yeah, I don't even remember what brand this is, but yeah, it's like the only purple colorful chair I could find. But yeah, get one of these clear things so that, you know, you can see like right there, there's a bunch of dents and to keep that from happening. I would recommend a clear floor mat. On my gaming chair, <laughs> gaming chair, <laughs> I have this like this fluffy pillow for my back because I sit and work and edit a lot. And behind the chair, this is actually a cardigan that I was gifted by a really, really incredible artist. And I hung it over and then I put the sleeves into the holes of the chair so that it doesn't move. And I think it makes the chair a lot more colorful. And then I just have like some bags I'm using right now hanging off of the chair. Right here is my table space, my workspace. I have my planner. Planner, very, very important. I am, I, I yeah, I can't survive without it. I will literally forget everything if I don't write it down in here. So planner, all my pens and bits and bobs and such. This is my laptop. I always on this thing, constantly editing, working, making things on here. Ooh, I wanna show y'all this right here. This is my sticker space. This rainbow thing that you see right here is a rainbow decal. I wanted to fill up the cloud space cause I just want everything to be super colorful. So I have a bunch of different stickers from different artists and these like colorful ones right here are from my shop candy trap, just a little shameless plug. <laughs> you can check it out on candy-trap.com. Hello. I've also got this mirror right here that is being hung with this, um, I don't know what it, what, what, it, what is it even called, but it's like heart shape and it's very cute. Mm, you are enough. I've also got these floating shelves that are being hung with the same hook stick stick on thing on the backs of these but i like how it's all i don't know if the word is holographic or iridescent this is one of my favorite art pieces by ocean in space she so sweet and made a piece of my my, my head <laughs> i've also got some neon lights so this one this one and that one right over there. Got my Amoga sign that also lights up, but the switch is on the side. Hold on, let me like climb on the table to show you. Yeah, ta-da! There we go, Amogus. I got that at, it was like some kind of secondhand thing that K Collective was doing and 
yeah, I think it was like a dollar, two dollars. This one right here is my mirror that I decoed a, with a bunch of stickers. I use it sometimes to do my makeup and got all my little figures. So many little figures. <laughs> here is a shelf with stuff. This is one of those Divoom computer alarm clock Bluetooth speaker things. It's pretty cool. I like the click 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 sounds that it does. One time, this Yotsuba figure I had, I came back from like a trip and she was hanging upside down like, like I don't know how she was hanging like that. Underneath down here, I've also got a Miku figure. She's marketed as like a noodle stopper is what they call it, but I like how she's just sitting so I have her just sitting back there. I also got my Boji figure. Highly recommend Ranking of Kings. It's a really great anime. And these tiny little dudes. I didn't realize how small these were gonna be, but they're, yeah, they're they're so tiny. This pin, I love this pin. This is by my friend Julius's brand, Pink Beach. Right here, I've got some figures. This is, I think the only like, Pop Mart figure that I have. I like that she's very rainbow. You can even take the hat off. This little ponyo I got from Little Tokyo. Various Tamagotchi stuff. These I got from Mercari Japan. Also have this Cardcaptor Sakura figure and this tray, like bunny tray thing that I found on uh, Taobao. This is like a big piece of candy. I got this from K Collective, but I have it as... <laughs> A resting space for my kiddopee. This is a frog pot, not frog pot, frog for potted plants. But I have my crying Pikachu in it. Some perlers that I've collected over the years. Kirby with a knife. This thing, this is a rainbow sake bottle that my partner Edgar got for me when I was feeling kind of sick and sad so he was like here have this rainbow bottle and i was like yay or tiny figures honestly uh pretty much every figure i have is like secondhand from mercari japan because i do not have the money to be buying them brand new so yeah i have like my pc stuff and my printer laminator this is frutas magazine Frutas is inspired by Fruits Magazine, but they're based in LA. Highly recommend them. Really cool magazine. And this one, I literally forgot to talk or make a video or a TikTok about this, but I was actually featured in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the September, October 2022nd issue. <laughs> and I'm right here. Bum! Yay! Christina L. So yeah, they asked me like some questions about my style and how I started dressing this way, but it was really cool. They had a photographer come take pictures in my room. Underneath my orange table, so the orange table I got from Ikea, but underneath here I have all of my shop stuff that is full of beads to make braces, braces, bracelets and necklaces. My little footrest right here and my trash can right there. It's me and my bestie, me and my boyos. Right here is my bead organizer. So all of the beads that I use to make my things for my shop and also for myself too. And I these are like uh, paper clippy things. I don't know how this idea came about to me, but I just saw this and um, I started doing it to all of the the clips that I have. I will like put it on a cup or on this bucket thing and then I started collecting them and putting them on here. So you can see I have some of these over here. They're pretty cool. I think they add a little bit of cuteness to the room. And right here, my frog shrine. This thing falls a little bit, but 
oh man, I can't remember the name of the artist I got this from. I'll, I'll put it on the screen right here, this uh, frog computer thing, thingy cover. Yeah, frog computer screen cover. I think like the only downside is it kind of covers the, the spots of the screen over here. Uh, oh, oh, see, <laughs> it falls a lot. Stay. Ah. Stay. Okay, cool. So yeah, and I have all my my frog things, my kiddo pee, and this is a giant tamagotchi. It's uh, it's called a deka tamagotchi, I think is what it's called. It's supposed to like go together with like a smaller one. I think there's a whole town in there that your tamagotchi can go and walk around in, but I don't have the the matchy one, so. It's just here. I use it as like a clock. As you can see, it's 4.59 p.m. So, yeah. <laughs> also got another shelf back there, too, with other miscellaneous things. Have some card capture Sakura figures, Muse Dash Standy, Strawberry Trash Can. So right here is my big PC. Oh, my big PC. PC monitor. This is my pink Kirby space. I have all of my Kirby figures that I have collected. So as well as my rainbow keyboard with the Miffy arm rest thing. My little Kirby keycap. This thing I love. It's basically just like a thing to plug things in and I like how it's here on the table instead of down there because uh, yeah don't don't look at that there's too many wires so yeah that's very handy I got this mouse pad from the Korean brand Wiggle Wiggle my frog glasses holder is uh I got this from Claire's to what is it called oh my gosh every time I film like I forget words and how to be a human being <laughs> but yeah the eye, eye cover shade thing this one i found on mercari japan secondhand this is cute little tamagotchi drawer i keep all my face mask in here this pikachu is supposed to like you can put your phone on it to wirelessly charge it but it doesn't really work so i just have it as decoration to hold this rainbow neon light on this is my pc area where i do mostly like streaming stuff with my vtuber on twitch kind of on a little hiatus at the moment with streaming but i'm hoping to get back into it maybe after we move this wallpaper on this computer screen is from the game muse dash and this is from one of my favorite artists. On my curtains, I have this thing right over here. I bought it from Disco Dotty and it attaches to the window with like really strong magnets. And thankfully the top of my curtain thing, uh, or my, the top of my window is magnetic. So it just, Boop, attaches up like that. Also got this thing. You can find a lot of these things at like decoration shops if you're putting together an event or a party or a wedding and they sell these kinds of things on there. But let me show you this lit up with my, got my switch. Ah, so yeah, it like, it can blink. I've also got some lights too, but I'll set them to that. More art up there hung a rainbow oh no that thing fell darn see <laughs> let me fix that real quick my fixed rainbow pennant and also got this um shoot what's it called it's like a bed cover thing but it's really pretty and i like laying under it and just looking up and seeing all the colors here let me show you like if you're laying down and this would be the view this right here is my comfy bed as you can see my little puppy my little
baby, Mr. Kylo. He's chilling on it. And I don't really like to put too many plushies on here because uh, whenever I sleep, we kind of just knock them over. So I just like having an open space on the bed. Got that giant frog squishmallow from my mom for Christmas. Thank you, mama. And that Kirby, I think it was from Big Bad Toy Store, if I'm not mistaken. This kid'll be, I got him secondhand on Mercari Japan for like, 11 or 18 bucks. It was it was pretty cheap, but it was the shipping that was a little bit pricey. This is supposed to be used as like if you're reading or something. You can even put an iPad in here. Uh it doesn't have the label. Okay, I don't remember where I got this from, but these worm dudes. Oh my gosh, I found them. I think one was from eBay and the other one was from Mercari, not Japan, but Mercari US. They were Kind of pricey, but I wanted them here as a way to cover the space in between where the wallpaper ends. Wallpaper is quite pricey. So I got this wallpaper from Spoonflower. Like I said, it's pricey. I couldn't afford to get a wallpaper that goes all the way down to the floor. So I got one where it stops at a certain point, like where the bed was. And there was, you know, yeah, like a little white space. I was like, hmm, what can I, how can I cover it? I was like, plushies long worms so i got the two <laughs> long worms over here but yeah they were both second hand i think toys r us used to sell them oh the baby's slipping oh sorry sorry but yeah spoon flower has all kinds of different wallpapers if you're looking for that pretty much I, it just takes water to stick it up but i got some heavy duty tape to hold that up too got my rainbow hangy things. Oh, and also Spoonflower does like custom fabric. If you're interested though, it is quite pricey. Here I have my rainbow drawer organizer thingies. Got some of my favorite books on J Fashion. And in here I have like, oh, some like my bigger candy pieces and some art stuff. Eh. Got my fruits. In here I have all of my stickers, sticker books. Got my Eglian Creations backpack. I don't know if some of you remember the backpack tour that I did like a couple of years back. This Miku figure, oh my gosh. Let me tell you about it. So I had been, I wanted, I found it. I found this exact figure on Mercari Japan, but by the time I had saved enough money to buy it, somebody else had bought it, but it's okay because my best friend Kay, she actually, she freaking had this figure and she just had it, you know, like tucked away in her room and she was like, oh, well, I have one here. You can have it. It's a little broken, but it's okay. And and oh my gosh, it was so sweet of her. So thank you, Kay. Thank you for the beautiful Miku. It's very cute. It's um, it has this like wire thing that's connected to this little dude. I'll have these tiny. Gosh, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> this camera is so heavy. <laughs> Whew, okay, let's continue. So more figures over here. Got my little. Tamagotchi duties, duties, Tamagotchi dudes, <laughs> plushies. This one, one of my prized possessions. It is secondhand Mercari Japan. This is the party hat that I got from Dollar Tree for my birthday. <laughs> and one of my favorite figures, Project Sekai Miku. She's very cute. Though so her bow and tail on the back, like fall quite a lot in her hair too, but she's so cute. And wasn't too expensive either, I think, when I got it. Well, Mill Palm, I'm like forever, I have been forever trying to look for the backpack version of that. Fingers crossed one day I can find it. And in here is just like, oh yeah, this is my shipping stuff. Down here, I've got all of my magazines, my Kara's zipper more magazines in there 
that's just a laundry hamper, a little frog area. And I've got these big pillows right here. And this is for Kylo to just kind of rest on and chill on. But yeah, if anybody wants to like just chill on the floor instead of the bed. And this, oh my gosh. I've never had like mirror doors for a closet before, but I find having this, it makes the room feel like it's so much bigger. It's just so convenient. You know, you need to change and get ready. This, these huge mirrors that you can just look at and get ready. So I love that. But I've also got this mirror that I've, I've had with me, though this mirror is for my accessories. So let me show you. Let's move you real quick. This is a, another Kawaii Bear item. And inside is all my accessories. So like my necklaces, rings, more necklaces, nail polish. Some of you might remember it from the accessories tour I did a couple years back, but I wanna do like an updated one, so. We'll, we'll, we'll see. And I'm not sure if when I filmed that accessory store, it had all of these like foam things on it, but I, I pretty much just glued them on there. This box, oh my gosh. I got a whole lot of um, Japanese magazines from Akari Japan a while back. I wanted to do a video like looking through them. A lot of them are from the 90s and 2000s, but maybe at some point I will film that. This bag just has like my wire for my ring light. And in here is all my hair clippies. So this is my whole hair clip collection. I did a TikTok and I think I, I don't know if Instagram had reels yet, but that's also on it where I show like all my clippies. So hang some tiny little bags on my mirror. Yeah, this is my handy dandy ring light. Over here is the entrance to my restroom. Uh, I'm probably not gonna show it, but it's just, it's just a restroom, nothing too fancy. It has like some rainbow things like the, the curtain inside here. Maybe if I, so yeah, the curtain is rainbow shower curtain. Also have some frog hooks for it. And then to go back into the room, push on. This rainbow cover is also from Good Banana. Has the smiley face underneath this thing, but I have uh, like a rod stuck on the doorway. And up here, my happy place. And that is a tufted rug and Nyankat that I got from Regalia Designs. And they're based here in Arizona and they can do like a bunch of different custom designs. And it's so cute. Here I have like some party decor things just hung up here. Other than this one, I also have it hung over here. Now the thing with this, it, it's like really long. It goes all the way down there, the rainbow streamer things but I cut it where the closet is so that it fits nice and perfect. And more party decoration stuff up there. I got more artwork on the walls here. This I found from our car Japan, our, our queen, my, my idol Tomoe Shinohara. She is one of the reasons why Decora is a thing today. And I got like some of my leg warmers just kind of sitting there. <laughs> uh, a box for more miscellaneous stuff. And here is my figure collection. I have it all in rainbow order. I have been collecting anime figures for about a year now, but I mainly just wanted to like collect them, um, like just the colorful ones but they're all so cute. This one is one of my faves. He, um, Sergeant Kiroro, and he, a pen comes out of his head. Maybe I'll do like a figure tour someday, but I don't really have that many figures and the figures that I collect, they aren't so like fancy. I know some people, they have like really fancy, cool figure collections, but mine, I mainly just collect them cause they're cute and I don't really care too much about if they're fancy quality and stuff. It's just, ah, that looks cute. 
so I want it. Yee! And over here, I've got more art, and this is my Ocean in Space Shrine. I'm trying to collect as much Ocean in Space art that I can. I am in Ocean's Patreon club thingy, where you can get like a exclusive, exclusive, or just, yeah, exclusive art. But I, I still have that tiny little corner to fill up. Also got this rainbow thing to cover this wall right here. So this is a CD mirror that I was kindly gifted by Vapor95 when I visited their store in LA. It's literally a CD. Super cool. Let me talk about the ceiling. So you can see all of these flowers. I also have some stuck on the fan. But the downside is gravity. So you can see one of these. I was thinking of before filming this, like trying to stick it back up, but I was like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna show them how it really is. So that is what can happen. Um, it did take me a couple of times to like really like get them stuck up on there. Like that one's kind of falling off. But I mean, it, it's still cute. All of the flowers on it. Some of these flowers on the fan have also kind of fallen down a few times, but so far, they're good. <laughs> hey, yeah, puppy man. For my pride and joy, my closet. Let me bring you along in here. Here is my closet. So I got all my clothes and things, my bed sheets, all of these boxes here have various hats and arm warmers, headbands, hair pieces, all kinds of stuff in here. That box right over there has all kinds of different tutus and different colors, but I just have so many. They just kind of, they're just all up there. I feel like this is very uh, symbolic of who I am as a person. Just a bunch of cowboy hats and tutu skirts. That's me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got my like rainbow cowboy hat and my neon cowboy hats that light up. And on this side, I have all of my jackets, my ACDC rag collection jackets, big fuzzy coat. I think it's funny how like I have a whole section for jackets when I live in literally the hottest one of the hottest states in America. <laughs> but jackets are just so cool. They, they make an outfit, you know, especially if you were wear a style like Decora, there's a lot of layers involved, but you know, we, we push and fight through for the look. But I've also got these vests. I know if some people have asked me about this one. It is by KLC, is a Japanese kids brand. Got the second hand on Mercari Japan. On this side, these are all of my shirts and long sleeves have all of the hangers oh my gosh it took me so long to collect all these different colors so that i could have them in rainbow order these are like some pants lolita dresses that can't really be hung and scarves these drawers are like more pants and short sleeve shirts and speaking of good banana these are more things that they sent me in that packaged thing that I haven't been able to open up yet, but maybe at some point I'll be able to use them. So shout out Good Banana. Kawaii box. Oh yeah, just like kind of toss everything in there. But yeah, this is my closet. If you'd like me to do, do like an in-depth tour, let me know and I can try to try to go through this thing before we before we leave. Yeah, here's here's the bedroom. Ah, I don't want to move. <laughs> Mr. Puppy Man. Do you want to move, Mr. Puppy Man? I don't want to move. Please, can we not move, Mama? So here are my tips for creating your own colorful space. If you live in an apartment like I do where it's temporary and the apartment people have rules against like painting walls or like hammering nails and stuff, I recommend things like wallpaper and using sticky things to put stuff up instead of nails. Mounting putty is my best friend, though a warning about stick on stuff 
sometimes they peel a little just like the flower that i have dangling <laughs> On the ceiling, it can be uh, a little annoying having to paste it back constantly. I mean, it is not like super constant, but it's not permanently stuck on there. So yeah, that, that's just one of the downsides. Now for looking for things. Whenever I look online, I literally just Google rainbow space the thing that I'm looking for. So for example, if I am looking for rainbow drawers, I will look up rainbow space drawers and then I will check out the Google shopping tab. I'll do that for pretty much everything, tables, chairs, bags, clothes, everything. <laughs> and if there's no rainbow option, I try to look for like the most colorful thing that I can find like neon orange table or pink drawers. And if you like pink, you are in luck because the amount of pink things that I found online, there's just like so, so many. But whenever you are Googling or using the search tab on online shops, try to think up very like general vague terms like cute, kawaii, pastel, light pink to match the aesthetic that you are going for. And like I said, if you can't find things under rainbow, you can also try looking up like neon, colorful, multicolor, bright, frog stuff, just things that I like to match my aesthetic or your aesthetic. And then yeah, just scroll and scroll for hours till you find something that works. I also really love going in person to party stores or like the party section of stores there's a lot of really colorful things halloween is an especially good time to go thrifting for stuff and i also really like whenever it's pride month because there's a lot of rainbow things i've seen target sell like rainbow plates and those are really cute since i was a kid i've always loved collecting like weird little novelty items so i feel like that's how i've kind of reached this point in my life with all of these things and also falling in love with decora too i think the difference as i've gotten older is that i like when the weird thing has a function to it so if the trinket is, is cute and you can use it in some way i love it and I need it. <laughs> but feel free to leave any questions that you may have for me down below. I'll try my best to answer. Please also share your own tips for creating a colorful space. And please let me know if you'd like a closet tour, figure tour, accessory tour, sticker tour, or any other tours that you can think of and you'd like to suggest before we move out because we are moving out of our apartment very soon. I don't know how I always end up filming these room tours before we move. I thought that we were going to live here for some time, but things happen. If you have any advice on moving as a maximalist, please let me know. I am begging. <laughs> I'm so nervous for when I have to like really start packing everything into boxes, but fingers crossed everything will go good everything will go smoothly but thank you so much for watching this video all the way through and thank you to my lovely patrons i'll see y'all in the next video so take care and bye bye